have our finished product that, well finished, not painted yet, but basically this is our finished product. Welcome to Superior Drift Garage, this is Chris and today we're going to look at the regulations for Formula Drift and what's going on over here? Well basically down this page, actually the 27 pages that are available over here it's all the regulations for 2019-2020 season uh, some of the things don't really mean much to us but one of the things that I've seen which is, oh by the way, this is going to be our cage which will be in the works very soon I'm still trying to save as much money as possible to actually make this a reality but basically on page 17 of this little handbook right here we have the drive shaft all vehicles are strongly recommended to have a drive shaft retaining loop mounted so what's going on today we're going to build a retaining loop which will be within six inches forward most universal joint which in our case will be the flex disc uh, how am I gonna do it I'll show you guys exactly what's going on and how it's going to work uh, plus we just have to find some uh, metal that will be two inches wide like a strap metal plate or something like that that's at least 0 0.25 inches thick well let's get going let's find it and let's see what's going on let's see what's I going on say. Uh, it shows an example from summer racing part number SUM G7900. So let's take a look at that. Right here we have seven G7900. This is our shape that we're going for. They pretty much have only two L-shaped brackets and two loops in order to keep the drive shaft uh, from bouncing around. I guess when it rips off. Uh, let's take a look at some of the actual specs on here. Uh, well, like we can tell, there isn't much information. We only have the inside width and the loop height, which is adjustable. Uh, and it will not really work for BMW simply because the floor pan on the driver's side is a little bit lower than the passenger side, which you guys will see very shortly. And there is no other information available over here, but this is what we're going for. So instead of paying money let's just build it let's have fun and build something well then underneath the car good news is that our flex disc which I made a video on how to replace one recently uh, basically we what were looking at six inches from the flex disc which points out that that we have a hole right here with threads so that's a good mounting point and same thing on this side with threads which is literally like five inches from the flex disc which qualifies for no more than six inches from the uh, junction as i would call it so that's going to be our perfect mount for the drive shaft loop uh, after further investigation uh, of our shop area i found this uh, piece of uh, steel plate i guess since we have a straight edge already, I'll use this side to measure and we'll go make a line down from the beginning to the end of this plate. It has to be a two inches wide as required. So let's get this marked around over here nicely. Now it's time to chop it up. Let's make this cut. And then uh, let's design the rest of the loop. Wants to go anywhere. A 
I'll clean up this edge a little bit and then we'll start bending. If we mount it right there on our hole, it will come down here just so we have a straight angle and now we're going to make another bend going this way so we can bolt it to this bolt. And once that's done, I will figure out a way to make a loop around the actual drive shaft itself. Okay. Should be good. Shorter. Chop it up a little bit and it should be good to go as far as the portion number one. To make sure everything fits nicely, what I've done, I've made this little bend going upwards so there's more actual room to grab onto this piece so it actually wraps nicely around makes it look more professional I guess in a way it has no function whatsoever just the looks so now let's do the hoop around the drive shift make some holes and get this thing mounted distance over here what is supposed to be the oval uh, around the uh, drive shaft and it turns out to be five inches in diameter Apparently, this filter over here is 5 inches in diameter and we have this old engine sitting over here. So what I'm going to do, I'll bend this, uh, this piece of uh, steel around this, so that way we have a perfect 5-inch uh, bend, which will make it much easier for me to finish everything off. Look at that, perfect. And this should perfectly sit over the drive shaft. So let's take a look. Right now it's kind of difficult to put it in, but look at that. Simply perfect, perfect bend on every side, thanks to an old filter. say this sits perfectly. So let's feed this over and then this will bolt up right here and if this bolts up right here we will have, well, let's put them together. Got our points, made the holes right here, right there. It's time to bolt it up and see if it fits. Of course, it's metric 13 on both sides, so that kind of makes it much easier. Why I chose metric 13? That's simply because everything down the line of the car, everything is on 13s. So if I have to pull the drive shift for any reason and get this free, bam, one tool for everything. That's why 13s are number one. Just so we can muck this up nicely. Beautifully. Wow, this is actually pretty darn sturdy. And let's provide a little bit more lighting. So, looks like this is what it's going to be once the product is nicely finished. I gotta get a better angle. Let's get a better angle from here to this side. There we go. So that means it is in a cage or a retainer, however you want to call it. I'm gonna mark where everything lines up and drill some holes and get this permanently mounted. Here's our finished product that, well finished, not painted yet, but basically this is our finished product. Uh, got the mounting holes exactly as I are on the frame so they fit perfectly and they make it really sturdy especially with this bracket over here that actually locks into the chassis. Uh, we have two on each side, also 13s all the way around for easy, quick and ac uh, quick access. So let's get... But I believe it's actually really good, even if the drive shaft comes off and falls apart, it's not going to disappear, obviously, because it will bounce on that. So I'll know that we have a problem. So let's take a little bit closer look on this thing. Let's go from every single side. We got even spacing, like I said, five inch diameter 
on that filter was perfect to actually get this bend. And on very top, there's still room between the shifter mechanism, so there is no interruptions over there whatsoever. Going for a two-tone, black bottom and red on top. Here's a better look. 34 centimeters, the main piece. Five centimeters going up and eight centimeters to the left. For the most part, the bracket is dry right now. So what we're gonna do is measure it for you. Uh, first bend is basically at four centimeters. So four centimeters going up on the inside. We're looking at 44 centimeters on the inside diameter, and of course, we will be four centimeters on the other side. Since I am the creator of this, it deserves a superior drift garage sticker, a right? superior truck and trailer. Basically, it will fit exactly the way it's supposed to and how it's supposed to. Oh, yeah, it should look pretty good when it's up there if I can actually apply the sticker nicely. Let's see. Yeah, that's gonna be a challenge. Okay, the middle is right here. There we go, OEM, Superior Drift Garage. All rights reserved. Came off fantastic. The two tone collar actually makes it look really nice. And that Superior Drill Garage sticker looks great as well. Hopefully, it sticks. Well, here you go. Uh, made it, managed to do it. Didn't think it was going to be that easy actually. Well, it's technically just bending one loop and making a bracket, technically speaking. But here's our retaining for the drive shaft, which is exactly five inches from the junction, so it still meets the qualifications up to six inches really easy to do uh, fun actually it was a fun project I actually enjoyed this a lot well thanks for watching Superior Drift Garage once again my name is Chris that's our bracket support us in every possible way you can uh, and then uh, once again subscribe like and share thanks and see you guys next time